Hey everybody! Welcome to Facebook Live on July 8th. Hi Lisa, hi Heather. Elaine, glad you guys are able to tune in tonight. Karen from Arizona. Brenda. Welcome Julie. I'm super excited to be um, live tonight. I just came off a fabulous birthday weekend with my family. It we couldn't have had more fun. It was just awesome. We took the summer home um, about, I don't know, 45 minutes from here to a permanent campground site where my stepdaughter Anna has a camper that they keep there. So it's got a deck built on it and they have an outdoor pavilion. Um, and it's just a sweet, sweet setup. And we had so much fun there. It was a blast and our, our, our summer home did well. We found a few things that we were missing like knives. Um, I got a list, got a list and we still have to get an anti sway bar and um, what else? That brake control thingy. I don't know what it is, but it's something to do with the, the camper has brakes on it. We have to have some type of a controller inside the truck to use them. So, well, hi, Kathy Sanford from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Yeah, you guys, don't forget to share my video. You get entered in a drawing when you share the video. And I just had to print out my notes. I always like to type up some little notes so I don't forget to tell you guys things. Um, and for some reason, every time I go to print it out, it goes to my old printer, which I need to go into my system and delete it because it's annoying. So here I am. It's 6.59 and I'm like, oh, where's my notes? So I had to go delete that print and select the right printer. I got a wireless printer um, a few weeks ago, and I have to tell you, it's pretty cool, like magic. <laughs> you just push print and it just prints wherever I am in the house, so that's pretty fun. Hi from Kansas, I missed your name, but um, I saw Kansas in there. Hi Denise from Washington, Arliss, glad you're watching tonight. Susan, North. oh it's storming in northern Minnesota. Katie from Appleton, welcome. Oh, Kathy calls it a brake controller thingy too. I don't know what it's, it's got a name, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, we're going to pick one up here pretty soon. My husband talked about, I would like to go over, um, take the summer home over to Wisconsin Rapids because there's some really nice lakes around there. And I think there should be some nice campgrounds too. So, if you guys know of any nice campgrounds in the, you know, Wisconsin, I kind of, we don't really want to haul this camper very far because um, it's, it's big and heavy. And um, hi, Lisa Kaszewski. So glad you're watching. So we don't want to haul it any place too far. Lisa, we should go camping. Um and so we're looking for some good campgrounds in Wisconsin to take it to. We don't like the campgrounds where it's like all modernized with the swimming pool and all of that. We don't need all that. We have a swimming pool in the backyard. We want to go camping. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lorraine from the UK. Glad you're watching. I know it's very late there tonight. Wendy, Susan. Oh, Karen, it's nice and cool in Michigan. It's pretty hot here in Wisconsin. So it got hot and humid today. But the weekend, we didn't go camping until Friday. Um, we were going to go on Thursday, but it was so stinking hot that it's like I didn't want to be sitting in a campground hot. Um, so we waited. Okay, so Sh Dexterville, I was thinking about that too, Shelby. So we went camping on Friday, and it was a very beautiful day on Friday, and then Saturday, and today, then it got hot again, but we packed up and came home. So, okay, Heather, Cribbits has some nice ones. That's good to know. I was thinking the Shawano area would probably have some nice ones, too. Arliss, thanks for the Lake Dexter. I've kind of talked about Dexterville. Hi, Faye. Glad you're tuning in. Oh, Lorraine, it's 1.03 a.m. Well, bless your heart. And Lisa likes the state parks. That's good to know. Hi, Michelle from Amro. Becky from Winnicani. So what do I have to share with you? I'm going to get started with my sharing because I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's see. 
I have another online class coming very soon. I think this week. I was going to check with um, my friend Barb and see when exactly I'm going to make that live because I can't remember the exact date. July 10th is sticking in my head. I don't. It could be totally wrong, but... I have another online class coming in the Buried Vases bundle, and that's that cute little stamp set with the vases and then the punch, which, oh, here's my punch. Ah, things are falling. Here's my punch and the stamp set. I have another online class coming with this. You're going to love it. I had so much fun making these cards. Uh, I also have some excitement here because guess what I actually did? I cleaned my office. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was so horrible. You just get to see this nice little frame of me and I make sure the nice the background looks decent, you know. Sometimes I just take all the stuff off my big cabinet and put it on a pile on the floor. So you have no idea what a disaster this is. Um but I cleaned my room out on Thursday. I worked from 8:30 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon, steady, sweating my butt off, and I took out like six bags of garbage, two huge boxes for Goodwill, one box from my used stamp sale, and I'm going to give you guys a tour as soon as I'm done showing you the cards that I got this week and telling the winners from last week. Um, I feel amazing. Like it, my friend Vicky said, oh my gosh, doesn't it feel so awesome to just declutter and you can't even believe I didn't want to leave to go camping because I just wanted to stay in my office and, and play. Um, it's such an overwhelming feeling when things start piling up on you. And you know how that happened. Well, sometimes some of you are more organized and it doesn't happen, but it happens to me. And um, I do look well rested, don't I? I slept a lot this weekend. I took like Let's see, when, oh, that was last time when I went to visit my mom. I took like a four-hour nap. I must have been exhausted. But over the weekend, I took a nap on Friday, and I took a nap on Saturday, and I took a nap today. I do feel well-rested. I feel really well-rested. And I'm having a little trouble adjusting. Somebody last week told me on my Facebook Live to do a mirror image because when I hold up cards, you guys can't see. They're backwards, right? And so I Googled or I, I looked that up on YouTube to find out how to do it and I did it. So now when I hold up cards, thanks Lori, 120, woohoo! Um, now when I hold things up, you're gonna be able to read them. And so I'm having a hard time because when my hair falls down, I wanna go like this, but I have to go like this because I'm backwards in the picture that I'm looking at. So it's really weird. Shelby organized her space too. After moving, I know it's such a big job. And not only did I organize, but I also cleaned. And um, I put in a, um, like a Pergo laminate wood floor in here when I, I redid this whole room myself. Like I gutted this room, everything except the walls. And I did all the woodwork around the floors and the windows. And I put in the flooring, I painted everything. Um, I put the shelving units up. I built my punch um, holders. I did all that myself. And um, I don't remember what year it was, but there's a video on YouTube that shows the pit that I used to work in. <laughs> it was my basement, my 118-year-old basement. Blah. And so I had a video showing that compared to this when I first did it. And um, when I did that, I've never washed this floor since I moved in here, like, I've never, I've vacuumed it many, many times, but I've never actually washed it. So let me tell you, it it always has looked great. It didn't look dirty, except a couple little spots of like adhesives would get stuck or whatever. Um, hang on, Sheila, I'll tell you about that. Um, and so I brought in like an ice cream pail and a rag and some hot water and some pine salt. I love pine salt. I love the smell of pine salt. And I started washing my floor. Well, about every three feet, I had to go change my water because it was so dirty. <sighs> so that's another reason why I just want to stay in my office and create because it's clean. It smells good. It didn't stink or anything before either, but whatever. Anyways, um, let's get to our prize winners. So uh, last week, oh, I got to turn some lights on here. I'm going to plug my phone in too while I'm thinking about it. And 
and um, hi Bernice from California and Gilmore thank you you're so sweet she says you are looking fabulous I am feeling fabulous I'm energized I'm recharged I had a great weekend with my kids um, um, stepkids and um, Haley and Jared came for dinner last night they had to leave early this morning because he had to work but um, it, it was just, it was fabulous. We watched fireworks. There was a parade of golf carts. I'll post some pictures on my Facebook page when I'm done tonight because I have just the cutest pictures. Steve drove the golf cart. He looked like Uncle Sam. It was, it was hysterical. Um, okay, winners from last week. We have for uh, commenting, make sure you're commenting. If you're watching me live, you want to comment with something. So that I know you watched me live because that enters you into a drawing to win fabulous products from me. Um, these are our new, whoops, th see this is going to be weird for me for a while. These are our new doilies and our winner for the comment drawing is Arliss Knoop from Millsville, Wisconsin. And I know Arliss is watching tonight so Arliss, you are a winner, woohoo! I know she'll be super excited about that. And then for sharing the video, please share the video. You can do that right now. Just click on the little share button. And I want to know why my hair is separating so weird here. And then I have to move it the wrong way because I mirrored the image for you guys. <laughs> yeah, Shelby, way to go, Mom. Um, this is a Wink of Stella. And the Wink of Stella is going to Susie Nohai. N-O-H-A-I, I'm not sure how to say that, but um, Susie is from Clifton Park, New York. So congratulations, Susie. Please um, instant message me your address so that I can send this to you. I'd like to get these out in the mail. I like to get these out in the mail right away Monday. I get on my bike, I have a bag of stuff to the post office, and um, I do 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 go over to the post office and get those all in the mail right away. And then for um, online orders, and I'd like to thank you guys for the online orders. The orders have been wonderful. Thank you so much. I have a winner from Brainerd, Minnesota, and I'm not sure if Diane Gress is watching tonight. But Diane Gress from Brainerd, Minnesota is our winner, and she's getting the exclusive Tranquil Tulip stamp set. So congratulations, you guys. Three ways to win. Comment, share the video, place an online order, and you'll find my online ordering button on my blog. My blog is at www.astampabove.com. Look, you can read this. Yay! www.astampabove.com, and you're going to use this host code. And that code can also be found in the left-hand column along with the ordering button. So when you use the host code, there's special perks you get from me. Thank you, Cindy. Congratulations to the winners. And Heather, that is so nice because I am a grateful loser. Like if I'm playing a game and somebody else wins, I will always tell them congratulations. And I just think that goes along with, you know, being a nice person, right? <laughs> and stampers are the nice, nicest people. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to set these aside so I don't lose them any place. Let me here, hang on. I'm going to put them over here. And what else do we have going on? Um, just in case you missed it, I had some cards that I made this week. I was part of the Color Fusers blog hop. And our color challenge was Poppy Parade, Balmy Blue, Whisper White, and Bushel Blueberry bushel, which I call blueberry buckle. Um, but these were the cards that I made using, whoops, hang on. It's going to take me a while using these colors with a brand new stamp set bundle. So I thought they turned out pretty darn nice. What do you guys think? Hi, Kay. Glad you could join us. And then I also had another blog hop with the, um, my global blog hop with the Totally Technique group. And I used the decorative masks to emboss with, which was new to me. Um, and I thought that turned out pretty cool. This is the petal, whoops, wrong card. This is the petal pink cardstock with copper. And this is the blueberry bushel with white embossing and Heather Highland. So I thought these turned out pretty darn cool, right? 
that was a challenge for me. Um, well, this wasn't a challenge. This was a challenge, putting these colors together. And I, I love that I do struggle with that a little bit. And it's okay because it pushes me out of my comfort zone, I think. And I like that. Hi, Dee. Thanks for watching. Okay. Um, what else? I have some cards to show you that I received in the mail this week. I got a card from Natalie Gramley, and she used that new alphabet die set here for just a nice, simple little hello card. That was fun. Um, Natalie owed me some postage money, so she sent it with this. Aren't I lucky? I thought so. And then I got another card from my good friend and customer, Lori Hyde. And I thought this was so very sweet. She um, sent me a thank you. And it says, thank you so much for the embossing folder. Because she won on my Facebook Live. Um, I can't wait to have some creative time to play with it. Love your Facebook Lives. The only good part of Sunday evenings. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lori. This was so sweet. All right. Then, are you ready? I'm going to go through these, I hope, kind of quickly because I have a whole bunch of birthday cards. Yeah, the Mary, I thought the copper and the pink was awesome too. This is from Claudia Swakowski. Claudia is a good friend and customer. And um, she says, I hope your birthday is a fun day filled with all the things you love the most and get pampered by the people who you love most. And isn't that just sweet? So sweet. Oops, hang on. <laughs> This is going to take me a little while. Hi, Mary. Hi, Susan. Okay, and then I got this one from my friend Christine and Downline. She's one of my demonstrators, and isn't that just pretty? And Christine says, wishing you a very happy birthday. Hugs, Christine. So that was sweet. And then Debbie Peters. Thank you so much for this adorable card. Check this out. You guys love, I hope you love seeing ideas because I really do. This one says, Dear Kelly, many blessings upon your special day. Love, Debbie. And it's a fun fold, so isn't that fun? I love the balloons. Whoops, sticking up here. Then we have another one here. Oh, I'll save this one for last because it's kind of sweet. Um... Esther Bethke. Esther is a customer that I have not seen in years, and I mean years, but she sends me a birthday card every year, and it just really touches my heart, and Esther says, I enjoy your YouTube videos. Thanks. Have a great birthday, and isn't she just the sweetest? Thank you so much, Esther. I know you'll watch this on YouTube. Then I have a birthday card from my good friend, Vicki Davies. She also watches me on YouTube. And it says, have a wonderful birthday. Whoops, hang on. Isn't that pretty? This uses the new Share What You Love bundle. And I like how she put the white in here with the flowers stamped on and off of it. And then we have Jessica. Jessica Schnorr. She is also a friend and downline of mine. And isn't this pretty? That's that gorgeous celebration paper. And Jessica wrote in here, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Jessica. This is so pretty. Mary Lynn Weller. She is one of my customers from Washington. And she made this in Green Bay Packer colors, I believe. <laughs> and she said inside, hey, at least I didn't send you the one I made in Seahawk colors. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your special day. So that was really sweet. Thank you, Mary Lynn. And then we have Jim and Cindy Ellert. Cindy sent me this card. She's also a good friend of mine and um, my downline. And she used the new um, Dreamcatcher stamp set. Isn't this just gorgeous? Oh, I love it says, hope your day brings just what it should. Happiness, health, and everything good. Happy birthday. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sharon. Then from Tammy Litsky. Look at this. Life's a journey. Enjoy the ride. And this is a fun fold, too. Opens up like this. And it's got the motorcycle in it. And it says, birthday wishes to the leader of the pack. How appropriate is that? And... um. 
She says, I thought this card is perfect for you, and it is, Tammy. Thank you so much. That is very cool. I love the ribbon on here. Even though this is kind of a masculine stamp set, that um, crocheted ribbon just makes it girly, doesn't it? Yeah. Then I have a card from Lorraine Turner. Lorraine is watching tonight. She's from the UK. She's become a good online friend of mine. And... Um, Lorraine made this with, the, I can't remember the stamp set. Do you guys remember the name of this? It was in the Occasions Mini Catalog. But how fun are all those little animals? She did a lot of masking to make this. Super sweet. And Lorraine filled this up. And she told me that she's got a bunch of challenges this year. So she told me about those. And she said, I hope your lovely husband and daughter of yours spoil you rotten on your special day. All my love and best wishes. Um... Crafty pal, to my crafty pal overseas. So that's super cute. One last card, you guys. This one is from my mom. And it says, Kelly, words can't express my feelings for you. There's so much. I'm very proud to call you my daughter. Right? How sweet is that? Have a great day on your birthday. Love you to infinity, mom. So that was really sweet. Thank you guys so much for the birthday cards. They always brighten a day. Send a card, you guys. Send a card. If you haven't talked to a friend in a long time or, you know, somebody's maybe having a little hard time or maybe somebody just moved into a new house, send them a card and just say, hey, congratulations on your new house. It opens up windows and keeps people connected and it brightens their day. And I love that about stamping. That's like my favorite thing. I can't remember... Did I show you guys these bokeh cards that I made? I think I did. I was trying to find on my video if I showed them to you. Oh, this one, the greeting fell off. Uh, kind of hard on things. But um, I think I showed these to you, didn't I? I think so. They're really pretty. They're on my blog if you missed them. All right, what else is happening? Um, da -da -da -da. We still have a great promotion going on. Oh, Brenda, thank you. I did lose weight. I'm down 15 pounds now. Now, I did just have a weekend. We had steak, and we had shrimp, and we had potatoes, and I had some birthday cake, and it was all delicious. But um, prior to my weekend of camping, I was down 15 pounds, and I'm still working like a crazy person on it. So thank you very much. I know my face is always the first thing to slim down, which is good. <laughs> um. We still have the big promotion going on. If you want to be a discount shopper or you want to build a business, you can do this with our starter kit. Um, in the month of July, you get 10 free ink pads. You get a whole color family of your choice of ink pads for free. It is a $67.50 value before tax and shipping. And the best part is when you buy a starter kit, it only costs you $99.00. You get to pick out $125 worth of product. There's no shipping on it, so that saves you a ton of money right there. And you get a free family of ink pads. So if you want to become a discount shopper under me, you get all the perks of a business builder. It is completely your choice. On my blog, which is, again, www right here. On my blog, I have um, a link that says $99 kit in the right-hand column. Click on that. It'll give you all the questions and answers you're probably thinking. There is no booby trap in this deal. It is, um, it's a, it's a, it's a no-brainer. You get to, if you are going to order $100 worth of product from me, you need to buy this kit. Then you can get 20% off on all your future orders. And you do have to maintain minimums. They're $300 a quarter. But if you don't do that, it doesn't matter. You just aren't active anymore. Nothing happens. The Stampin' Up! Ink Pad Patrol is not going to come knocking at your door saying, give us our ink pads back. That's not how it works. So I'm encouraging you to take advantage of this. Who doesn't want a discount, right? Um, what else? We have a brand new promotion coming in August. And if you purchase um, a discount shopper kit right now, you can get the Color Your Season bundle in your starter kit. So you can get it early. I have it ordered. It's coming on Wednesday. It is beautiful. Absolutely love it. So 
Um, that's another bonus. We get to order early on any promotions or mini catalogs or new catalogs that are coming out. So, um, what else? Da -da -da -da. We're st we still have our buy three, get one free on designer series papers. When you buy three designer series papers, you get one free. Hi, Michael. I'm glad you could make it tonight. And the new Stampin' Blends, the new colors that Stampin' Up! released, they are now available to order. So I've had a lot of people ordering those that this week. Mine are going to be here on Wednesday. I'm super excited about that. This last week was a very busy week for us, my family. I celebrated my anniversary on July 4th. We've been married for 26 years, so that was fun. My husband bought me this new cup. I love these cups. They're from Walmart. You want to get a good metal cup, you get the ones with the, um, what did he call this? What do you guys call this bottom? A fake bottom or... Uh, I don't know what the bottom's called, but it has like, it's a separate piece. It doesn't come off, but it's a separate piece. These are the best. Oh, thank you, Heather. You're going to order after my Facebook Live. Hi, Sarah New. You should sign by the kit. It's amazing. Um, so I got that and I got some other gifts. Um, what else did he give me for my anniversary? Oh. Just some stuff that I needed. Oh, I'm such a terrible wife. Don't tell him. I can't remember. <laughs> but this cup was my favorite. And it's beautiful. It's pool party, right? <laughs> you have the same cup, Debbie Foster. I love this. False bottom. That's what you call it. The cups, the metal cups that are really good quality are the false bottom. I can set this cup on the counter. We don't have our air running in this house. And it can have ice in it. I'll set it on the counter. I'll go to bed. I'll get up in the morning. The ice will still all be there. These cups are amazing. And this one's from Walmart. I can't remember what it's called. But you find it in the camping section. They're fabulous. Anyways, we had a wedding anniversary on Wednesday, July 4th. We got married 26 years ago in Las Vegas. So, yeah. Oh, Kathy's anniversary is on July 4th, too, and she's been married for 37 years. That's awesome, Kathy. Good for you. Um, I put all my cardstock in new hanging file folders. Some of them were starting to fall apart. And um, what am I drinking, Carol? I am drinking raspberry lemonade, crystal light raspberry lemonade. I know, I just totally gave up the water thing. I can't do it. it I've told you guys this before. It just sucks the joy out of my life. So... At least this is, you know, calorie free and I, and I can tolerate it. I hate diet sodas, so that doesn't work for me. Um, should I give you a tour of my room right now? Is Do you guys want to do that or do you want to stamp first? I need to get my Facebook Live up on my screen too. <laughs> I'm watching, I can watch my screen right now. Oh, I missed your question about my pool party cup. You'll have to ask it again. It kind of went away. Okay, hang on. I'm going to get you up on my screen because I'm going to be turning my screen around pretty soon. Here I am. There I am. I'm live right there. I trust that your new pool party cup, oh, I missed it, does not have something. I don't know what it, I don't know. No diet. Nope. Hi, Sherry. Wendy. Hi. Glad you could make it tonight. <clears throat> tour. You want a tour, Kathy? I will give you a tour. Okay. Yeah, water's not your thing either. I hate water. It's just... I know some people really love it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've got a little frog in my throat. All right, so I'm going to unplug you. If you go any place, if I hit the wrong button, you're on my Facebook page. Just click on the title, a stamp above your creative coach in the top left column. And scroll down till you find my live. I'm wearing a red dress tonight. Don't get confused by other videos that are on there from previous weeks. But I'm going to try not to screw anything up here. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I think I should turn my camera around. All right, here we go. Here comes our big tour. Okay, so, you guys know this is my ribbon rack. I had two more... Um, rows on there that I took off. I did not need them. So that opened up some space in my room. So that was cool. Then you guys know that I used to have, I'm going to go in the, 
I don't want to make anybody sick here bouncing around, but I used to have a really big cabinet underneath that window over there. And because of the new design that I want to do in my office, I took that big cabinet and I'm kind of proud of it because I made it like I made it from nothing and I put it in my closet. So there's, let's see if I can get around this. There's, oh, hang on. This is confusing. There's my big cabinet over there. And um, I think I really like it there. I took one shelf off the wall, moved my TV up, and kind of crammed everything in over here. And then this is where I will do all my photography. This is a great little photo booth. I used to have this sitting on that little cabinet that's on the wall now where this used to be. Um, but this is my this is where I take photos of my cards so I can make them all nice and pretty. I also cleaned out these closets. They had so much junk in them, you guys. Like I haven't touched it in years. Why do I even own it, right? So I cleaned out the closets. Oh, there's my fan to try and keep me from melting. <laughs> oh, I have to show you something fabulous that I found too. Here's here's my other side. Yep. There's all my cardstock. Do you think I have enough cardstock? Hmm, probably not. <laughs> so there's my... I'm going to turn this light on too while we're over here. Sorry, I hope nobody's getting sick. But I need lots of bright light in here. So, and then my desk is cleaned off. Look at all that gloriousness, right? Woohoo! And then this is the floor I was talking about that was so filthy. It really didn't look dirty at all, but oh my gosh, I had to change my water like every three feet. It was so gross. And then this is where I used to have my photo booth sitting on that little cabinet. When we have a mini catalog come out, I will take all the products that I'm getting from the mini catalog and I keep them in, in, the, in these drawers so that I know I need to use them now. So that's what... That's what's still in here, stuff from the Occasions mini catalog that I need to get cleaned out. I kind of forgot about this, but I did good on everything else. And then I have some touch-ups to do. Where's my camera going here? On the wall. Whoops, there we go. You can see where stuff scraped on the wall. I need to touch, do a little paint touch-up there. But then I kind of cleaned off my shelves a little bit, so everything looks nice and neat. That one... Eh, not so much. Um, I use all that stuff. So I just kind of have to figure out a better way to maybe store it so it doesn't look so cluttery, I guess. I hung that sign up with my name on it. All these signs we've gotten from um, Founder Circle or Cruises. The Stampin' Up! really pampers us when we go on these trips. So, oh, and I have to show you this. This is a funny picture of my daughter and my dad. Isn't that funny? They have googly eyes in the photo. <laughs> super, super fun. Um, then I took my punches and I put them all over here. So I'm considering maybe taking those. Those are curtain rods mounted on a um, piece of like half inch plywood. Okay. And I just painted it the same color as the wall. And that's what I have my punches on. And I think I might take, there's a set of curtain rods right here, and then another set from here down. I think I may take those curtain rods down, I'm not sure yet, and do something different with that side of my wall. So I just don't know. I, I've got to figure that out. Then, let's see. Oh, while I was cleaning out my office, look at this. I found that in the closet. And I don't know, let me see if I can get it centered here. Oh, this is hard with this mirroring thing. I don't know when my daughter made this, but Haley made this for me. Um, that's a picture of my husband kissing me on the cheek and then me and Haley in Hawaii. But she loves to make these as gifts and she gives them to her friends. So she'll go to Goodwill and she'll buy a 2 or $3 frame and then come home with it and make something like this out of all the, you know, well, her mom has a store. <laughs> That'd be me. Um, and yeah, she made that and it was in my closet and she never gave it to me, I don't think. So I think maybe she, I had to put the flower on, so maybe she just didn't finish it and then forgot about it. I don't know. But anyways, I hung that up there. And then the only thing I really have left to do 
is these are all my cards. Those are cards. And I'll tell you what. I think what I'm going to do is this week I'm going to um, send along five cards with every winner's stuff from this Facebook Live. So maybe I'll even draw some extra people and send them. Everybody's getting five cards. I'm just going to grab five cards out of here. I need to go through these and sort them. I like to give cards to benefits. If people say we're having a benefit, I will put together a um, photo box full of cards and donate that for a benefit because people really bid on them and they love them. So, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is my new file folders. Look at how pretty they are. Whoops. Yeah, they're all brand new. And um, you know when I shared the Color Coach um, downloadable files on my blog, I also shared a um, file of labels. And this is where I got my labels. I just cut these out with my paper cutter, put a little bit of snail on the back, and put them on the paper thing inside the plastic holder dealy. And can you see that my filing cabinet is broken yeah it's broken and that's why I have new filing cabinets in my living room in boxes that have been sitting there since December yeah I know <laughs> it's pretty sad so that's why I had to get my office cleaned up so that I can get my new furniture in here and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet but I think it's going to happen this week you guys I'm super excited about it oops hang on TV just went off of pause, and it will not mute. There we go. Okay, so I am going to flip you over. My nails look great. I actually broke three of them. <clears throat> All right, you guys. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to flip you over so that we can start stamping, and if you get motion sickness, well, this, you probably are already sick. <laughs> Sorry. But um, if you get motion sickness, you want to close your eyes right now till I get set up here. <laughs> 